Alright guys, welcome to another video. Uh, this particular video is born out of several questions I've gotten on YouTube about people who have issues with their capping station, especially with cap error. Uh, I want to show you how to disable the capping station completely so that you can still have access to your machine only though it's going to be manual. You're going to have to know how to use the gears and all of that. Uh, stay tuned this video is going to help you uh, especially before you can figure out what exactly is going on with your machine but before we start at all you know what to do you hit the subscribe button hit the like button turn on the notification bell so that when we post a new video it gets across to you now let's get started so uh one issue you probably would have is that you start having cap error cap error is mostly caused by this sensor but at times the error can be so nagging and it takes you so long to be able to discover exactly what is the cause. Let me show you what that cap error looks like. So uh, you can see I disabled the cable to the cap to the to the to the sensor, right? So it's gonna throw cap error just a bit. Now machine is coming on, 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 on. Now it's gonna give you that cap error, right? So essentially, it's caused by this sensor right here. So now let me quickly turn it back off and then stick this guy back into the, that there right there. So now the cable is back and now I'm going to turn on the machine again. And then this time around it should act like a very sensible machine. Of course, you can see that it's initializing, the cap is moving normally. Ideally, that cap will not move like that if the cap error is there. And then, of course, it will not get to the home. But the problem we're exactly saying is that suppose you have connected this properly. You changed the sensor, you've done everything you know humanly possible to do, including going to the side here and then uh, maybe checking the cable properly. You've done everything you can and still giving you a cap error. There's one other way to fix it, and that's going to the back end. Don't forget, in the previous video, I showed you how to go to the back end. You press these four buttons like this, right? You turn off the machine, you press these four buttons, right? And then you turn the machine on while you do that. So that way you get to the back end. So you press these four buttons like this, like this, whichever way you can. In most cases, I will advise you get someone to press that button for you. So once you do that, then you turn on the machine and then you should get to the back end like this. So once you get to the back end, you see station lift. The station lift here is basically controlling the kind of capping station you're using. The lift there is talking about an electronically con controlled lift. So it is the electric motor at the back there that controls whether this thing will go up or not. Once you change it to so if you want to con if you want to disable this capping station completely, just change this from lift to cap, and then you press save, uh, press enter, and then it stores that setting, and automatically it just saves, right? And once it has saved, you can then turn off the machine, right? Turn the machine back on, like that and then your machine no longer uses the capping station. You can see that the machine is no longer using the capping station. So now from here on, your machine will print normally only that you have disabled the capping station. So from now on, you get to be able to control the height of the capping station. Now, some things you need to put into consideration while you do this is that you now have to use this gear, right? That big gear over there to control the height of the cap, right? So if you keep getting that stupid error, uh, it's one of the errors I hate most in the machine. If you keep getting that cap error and it just won't go away, you can just disable this cap station. The machine is, is thinking that it's using the other type of cap, especially that, uh, that stationary cap. So uh, it's for as far as it's concerned, you're not using this cap station right now. So with this kind of method, you can use your uh, capping. Uh, you can use your capping station manually now to do whatever you have to do. 
so uh, this is really really problematic but at least you give you access to your machine and then you have to use everything manually you use the pump to pump ink from this tube and then you use the gears to control it up or down uh, if you roll it one way it goes up if you roll it the other way uh, if you roll it one way it goes down if you roll it the other way it goes up so rolling the gear forward like this raises the cap rolling it the other way around suppresses i mean depresses the the cap right so that's pretty much it uh if you do it that way you get access to your machine very quickly and then you can just use your machine if this has helped you hit the subscribe button hit the like button turn on the notification bell so that next time we post the video it'll get to you thank you very much in these video series we're just trying to cover very quick solutions to solving your problems as fast as possible before you get to call that engineer. If you want me to get, uh, if you want to get a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, they are not free. It's on WhatsApp. Feel free to reach me. But if you're patient enough, we will definitely post the video you need, so that you don't have to pay me any money uh, to be able to service your machine by yourself. All right, guys. It's nice seeing you. Have a lovely day. See you in the next video.